With the unprecedented wildfires raging in British Columbia and the scorching heat wave seen in several parts of this country, is this something we will be seeing more of and how could Ontario be impacted? Scenes of destructive flames and scorching heat like we've never seen before. Maybe 30 years ago, the heat wave out west, if we had exactly the same situations, maybe it would be like one or two degrees less. Okay, it still would have been a heat wave. It just wouldn't quite quite as extreme. Out west in British Columbia and Alberta, record high temperatures have been recorded. In some cases, 20 degrees above average. Kent Moore's professor of physics at the University of Toronto, he says climate change is a small contributing factor, but not the sole cause. So what climate change is doing is sort of adding on top of the background fluctuations that we have, and and that was that central we saw. Uh, West this past week was just a combination of an extreme event and then climate change is added to the degree to that extreme. Moore says while we will have cooler summers every now and then, we will be seeing them less often than usual. So one way to think about it is suppose you had a, a dice and you, and you colored three faces red and three faces blue and you roll that dice. If it's red, that means it's a warm summer. If it's blue, it means it's a cold summer, okay? So if you roll that dice, obviously you're going to half warm and half cold, right? Suppose you now make four of those faces red and two of them blue. You start rolling that dice. You're going to get more warm events, but you're still going to still get cold events. You're just getting more of those warm events. With more warm events on the horizon, Moore says in Ontario, we could expect more heat waves to occur. And out west, likely more of the destruction we've seen this past week. So the, the west, uh, you know, uh, typically in the summer tends to be drier. They get most of their rainfall during the winter. So they tend to have drier summers. And that combination of, of, of drier summers and warmer temperatures will lead to wildfires. I mean, they're having them, you know, they have pretty bad wildfires every year. If you go farther south into the states, into California and things, I mean, they have really, really bad problems because, again, it's really, really dry down there and really quite hot. The heat dome out west is expected to reach Ontario this week with a heat warning in effect for the GTA tomorrow. Now, Environment Canada says to expect humidex values near 40 degrees.